Coulomb's law also tells us the force is with us. May the force be with you. Let's pretend you're at a county fair or a carnival, and you catch a whiff of something that smells delicious. Now, if you grew up in the Midwest like me, it's very likely that that delicious thing you're smelling is an elephant ear. If you've never had an elephant ear, picture a giant piece of deep fried dough covered in cinnamon sugar. Well, let's suppose you're after an elephant ear. So you have to look for the vendor's trailer, and you're going to use your sense of smell as a guide. You can imagine that as you get closer, the aroma should intensify. You would guess that the aroma also depends on the potency of the delicious scent at its origin. Of course, you can expect that if you're right on top of an elephant ear, consuming it, you're getting maximum scent at that point. This same idea can be applied to electromagnetics. It turns out that the electric field depends on the size of the charge generating the electric field, the distance you are away from that charge, and the direction you are from that charge. This idea is called Coulomb's Law, and the equation for a single point charge is shown now. Now, let's suppose you're at a carnival where there are two vendors selling elephant ears. The total elephant ear aroma is the sum or superposition of the scent contribution from each vendor. We can extend that to even more elephant ear vendors. I'm literally salivating right now. This idea can be applied to electric fields as well, where the total electric field due to multiple point charges is the sum of the electric field contribution at that point from each charge. The last extension of Coulomb's law is actually harder to picture, and it's where my analogy breaks down. If you have a shape, be it a line, a surface, or a volume, that has some distribution or density of charge, then we can find the electric field due to that charge distribution. We can get the electric field for a line charge distribution, for a surface charge distribution, or for a volume charge distribution. The electric field depends on the shape, the charge density, and the distance. If I made up some example about elephant ears, we'd have to have some spherical megafryer. Coulomb's law also tells us that the force at a test charge QT is equal to that test charge QT multiplied by the electric field at that point. This video was an introduction to Coulomb's Law. I hope you found it helpful. Thank you so much for watching. If you feel I've earned it, I would love it if you subscribe. Bye for now.